it's very emotional. Elio! Elio! It's amazing to see how his hard work uh, paid off. Elliot to put Sweden on my chest and to represent my country and doing the thing I love it means a lot to me. And hopefully I will become the biggest athlete to ever come from Sweden. I can promise y'all that I will inspire a bunch of kids and I can promise you guys that I'll make basketball a bigger sport here in Sweden. I'm Elliot Cadeau. Since he played the first um, game with the Swedish national team at 15U, um, it's, it's been amazing. It's, it's something everybody, I think, probably dreams about. Um, for him to take to my country, he never lived in Sweden, but wanting to represent Sweden and represent my people and, and where I come from, it's, it's, it's great. It's amazing.
Yeah. 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 I need to. I, I didn't bring my asthma pump. Because I didn't think I would need it. No. Hey. Hey. hey, congratulations. Hey. We're so proud of you. Hey. You're so old, right? Really? You're old. You think so? Oh, no. Alright, get the one. Get the one. Get the bucket. Yes, sir. Who scored on me? Me. me. No, y'all did not. Hey, class of 2020. Why y'all lying for the camera? 2030. Class of 2030. <laughs> to come out for this little meet and greet thing, sign a couple autographs, take a couple pictures. Um, we did it as like a team. The whole the whole team came out to show love to the kids. So yeah, we about to leave right now. We was here for like 45 minutes, so. We don't all right. assist for a minute. One, two, three, smile.
Have you seen a clip of that talk show that I'm going to? You seen like, bro, that's just crazy. It's like, you know, Saturday Night Live, like, you come down, you sit on a couch, there's like big screens behind you, like, and there's a big ass crowd watching you, bro. That's... You don't got nothing until like dinner? Uh, After lunch? No, I don't think so. So uh, uh, 6 uh, 40, you will be in the conference room. Uh, you need to sign stuff. Uh, 100 di different stuff. Serious? Yes. Uh, I've got to sign 100 things. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, literally. Oh, Is everybody at lunch? I think so. Parmesan chicken sandwich from Max. You gotta get the Max sauce and dip the fries in there. What's the title of this show? Same thing, Oh, really? Yeah. Pun bunket? What the f does that mean? Alright, bet. Alright, bet, gang. <laughs> Let me restart that. We two minutes away. What the fuck? Yo! Alright, we two minutes away. We about to we walk into Max right now. This is fast food spot. It's good as hell, like. It's better than Chick-fil-A, Wingstop, Chipotle. It's better than everything for real. I don't know. I don't know if it's if it's cause I like barely have it, like rarely, that it tastes so good to me. But that's really different, like. I don't know how to explain it. Y'all gonna see, like. Yeah, it's like a McDonald's on crack. What the f***? Nah, that little f boot. What the <laughs> yeah, this, this is just beautiful. Like everything's like built old. Like yeah, it's like a medieval town. I guess it's this it is right here. Literally, it says it's right here. I see a Burger King. What hotel? 
I see triangulan, triangulan, tanglan. I see the max. You're giving me wrong directions, like. You acting like you know, like, this area because you're from Sweden. But you actually don't. I'm putting y'all on right now. If y'all ever in Sweden, I don't know if y'all will ever be in Sweden. But if y'all ever in Sweden, you've got to come to Max. And if you don't, you're weird, bro. You're weird. Look, and this is in Swedish, too. And I can read in Swedish if, in case y'all didn't know. That means eat here. Pre press eat here. All right. You got the... I'm going to just get a burger with some bacon on it. Change nah, I'm cap. I need to change this to English, bro. <laughs> the price is the same as, look, if it's three fifteen, it's thirty one fifty. dollars Like, if you just minus, you just move the, see, I learned this in math class, you just move the decimal point over one to the left, and then boom, that's the price. So the Swedish currency is just, it's just the same thing, just ten times more. Basically, I got an A in math class, so you guys know my body. Fuck out of here, nigga. I got a little burger right here with some cheese fries, you know. Something light. Game day tomorrow. I know I be saying Gushers and Apple Juice is like the key to bounce, but like, this is really like the real key. Like, I, I, was, I was giving y'all like the Gushers and shit, but like, this is real life the key to bounce. But everything can't be the key to bounce, right? And uh, so never mind. It's not the key to bounce. This is the key to being nice. Like, if you eat max, you're going to be nice at both. Facts. And, you know, I'm out here in Sweden with my mom. Say hi. I got a mic on me right now. Hey. That's all? That's all you got to say to the camera? Hey, to the camera. You've never been on the documentary before. Nope. And that's all you're going to say. Hi. Say hi. My hey. name is. Tell hey. them what your name is. My name is Michelle. I'm Ellie's mom. Michelle. Michelle Kado. Got it tatted on me right here. <laughs> and this is my dad, James. What's your name? Tell him your name. Papo. What? James. Papo. James. Is the tennis player right here. The greatest tennis player. And we're in Sweden. And we're in Sweden. With Kai. Gamlet. Papo. Papo? Yeah. They used to call you Pablo? Yeah. Why? Yeah, well, my friends call me Pablo. You don't call me James. Why? That's my, my name. What does it mean, though? Like, it's like, is this like Big Bro? Like, what's good, Big Bro, Pablo? Yeah. <laughs> Spanish word for Pablo. Pablo. Yo, Pablo. Yo, Pablo, pull up, yo. Yo, Pablo, pull up. We about to jump. Nah, chill. So, yeah, my dad, he, he grew up in Haiti. My mom grew up here in Sweden. And you grew up in Haiti, right? How, how was Haiti? Rough. It was rough, right? Got out the mud. <laughs> for real? Yeah, that's what we use for when we go sliding. When you go sliding, huh? You see how it's Sunday afternoon? They're gonna, the Swedish people are watching, they're gonna be like, no, it's Kex. Yeah. Oh, nah, don't put that on there. Oh, did that? What does that mean? That's, that's not good. I did some, I did this. I don't know what that means. For what? What the? I'll just take a couple. I don't got space in my bag. Today for sure, yeah. All right. Sex. It's called. It looks like kex. Some people call it kex. But why do you call it sex? They cannot understand you. Oh, because in Skåne where I live, it's called sex. Sex or kuglar. Skåne. 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 Yeah. You talking Swedish to the camera? Oh, Y'all ain't never seen these before. The nacho cheese Doritos. I don't even like these, but I'm just showing everybody like they get different over here, right? What are you doing? <laughs> this right here. It says. It says. It says thing to keep the receipt for. What does this word mean? I don't know. Want to put these in your bag? Uh. What the? Oh, you have to scan the receipt for 
What? We're American. That's what we do. We jaywalk. What are you gonna throw out though? We have nothing to throw out. I have bet. What is this? Yeah, these are um, shoes of like big people. <laughs> uh. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! <laughs> Bro, what? Wait, you gotta listen. Why it moaned the first time and not? Thank you. What? I said thank you. All right. We got talking trash cans in Sweden. You just open, put something in there. What? Yo, I don't know. I said, mmm. It started moaning when I put trash in there. Oh, yeah, hardly a little bit. More uh, uh, muscle and, and fat on, on your hands. A little bit. I'm, I'm a bit too bony, so my, my hands. Nah. I cannot get a tap on my school. If I'm in the NBA and I yeah. reach my second contract, I'll, I'll do it. Second right. contract? Yeah. I'll probably do the first. You know what you're getting. Like, do you know that? So basically, let's talk about your, I don't like to ask a lot of questions. Uh, I just want to get you like free flow and for like a minute. Right. Coming over here playing for Sweden uh, is a great opportunity. Playing against a country. Yeah, when I played for the youth teams, um, I'm not going to lie, the U.S. competition was better, but coming out here playing for the men's team is really different. Yeah. No, I think the young core could definitely take over this program, and I think we could definitely like bring the program to another level. Uh, we got a big uh, NBA player that started on this anyway. I'm about to go get ready for the game.
Kado, yeah, you said it Kado, right. Kado, Um, you're extremely talented, I Thank must you. say. Thank 18 you. years old, playing in the men's Swedish national team. How does that feel for you to be here out and you know play with the best of the best? It feels great. Um, they gave me an opportunity to come out here and play with the men's team, so I'm really proud of myself for getting that opportunity, and I'm thankful for it because I think I got a lot better and I learned a lot coming out here. Did you start? I started playing when I was like eight years old. Yeah. Basketball goal or anything you want to say? Um, I have a big tournament, Nationals, coming up for my high school, and I just want to win that. I want to win Geico Nationals. And he may be waving goodbye to the high school game. Good chance he'll reclassify, go to North Carolina in September. And then there is Elliot Cadeau in terms of pure passers in the high school game. He knows just the right pass to make. And the finish at the end of the round. The younger self or any kid that's out there, what would you say to motivate them? Um, that is possible. You don't got to be 6'8". You don't got to be 6'5 to be very good at basketball. I'm six foot, and I got to, I'm pretty much at the highest level I can at my age, so it's possible, definitely. You just got to work hard. Thank you so much. I yeah. appreciate it. Right. Awesome having you out here. Yes, sir. Suit. And the practice uniforms? Practice uniforms and the mint coat. And the coat. Right. And the I gave that a bucket. <laughs> and I was feeling that shit. Like, if I would have stayed in, I would have I would have kept ice over this. Right. One minute. I'm going to keep the mic on now. And this game, it has to bring us experience. This window, it has to bring experience to everybody. And we started the game taking a foul on Kurume to bump him. We got into his head, Elliot to draw offensive foul, right? Big part of the game, we control Kuruma, their key player. Also, I gotta tell us, us coaches, us together here, we have 22 turnovers today. We cannot turn the ball over 22 times in this level. We know that we probably won't have the possibility to be together for two months, which makes this game so important to learn from. It's a new group, and it's, for some it's their first national team games. It's Good experience. We need to bring this to next camp, and everybody needs to be ready to play and to fight in practice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. August. 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 
Metro Boomin make it boom. I think, yeah, you could come up. Mm -hmm. that, they... Nah, are the wings good? Oh, yes, bro. Oh, yes. They're good. Buffalo joints? Oh my god, bro. Really? <laughs> yes. I feel like they, they would be like fake. Bro. No, 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 no. I'm gonna try it. The other thing that they had, like, like that was it. Like, I'm... They said the chicken wings good. I'm about to order some chicken wings, bro. I got to keep this, though. It's tough. Me and him created a TikTok trend. The Why You Hezzy thing. I'm here with Elliot Cadeau. Yes, sir. Elliot, who's playing the best basketball in the world right now? Um, I say Damon Lillard. He just had 71 points. He had 41 at halftime. And they drug tested him right after the game. So definitely Damon Lillard. What's the coldest move to pull off on the, the end game? My favorite move, probably like, I don't know, just to shift up my defender and just throw a lob. Because I like, I like throwing lobs to my bigs. And I like when they dunk it, so I'll say that. Last question. Why do they hezzy? Um, I don't know. That's a big question that's never an never been answered. I don't know why I hezzy. I just did it. And the guy jumped, and he looked a little stupid, and it went viral, so. Yeah. I said, I, but I asked you, why do they hezzy? Why do they hezzy? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I think you answered why you you had to. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. You wanna redo it? <laughs> <laughs> why they had you? What am I supposed to say? Cause I did it. <laughs> there you go. That's that's cool. That's. I didn't cool. create the move though. Like. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm when I'm asking, why do they hezzy? Because they're hesitating on what, what you're about to pull off. That doesn't make sense. They're hesitating when if I'm. They're he if they're hesitating playing defense, they don't know when when to close out. So why do they hezzy? Oh, why do they hezzy when they guard me? Yeah, that's what the I'm saying. The thing is, they don't hezzy, though. Like, they, they go for it, and I hezzy. Okay. And I fake a play. Is it you, got, you got to show me your hezzy. My hezzy? Yeah. I don't got a ball right now, so I can't do it right now. They're asking for a dance move, right? You know. He does, he does dance, you know, he, he does put people on skates. So, does that count? I be doing TikTok dances sometimes, but... And I'd be making people dance on the floor. Pause, but yeah, that's it. Cut. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that good? I need to do a dance move. Nah. Nah, I can't dance. I'm sorry. No, that's I'm about to go. You about to go to the club? I <laughs> <laughs> got a fit on. No, man, after the game, you already know where we got to go. Y'all know where we walking to right now. There's only one place to walk to. And that's the best fast food place out. That should be like, give me goosebumps though. That's... Oh, what are you tweaking? <laughs> Yo. I hope, I think it's open. There's nobody in there. Of course, there's only Americans that try to go get fast food at 12 o'clock. Can you get in? Or? Oh, we're going. After this, when we go back, we're about to find some ski masks and ride a scooter. This is like a little village. Still a fool. I don't know where the phone's at. The phone booth with no phone. Can, you, can I touch it? Get in it. Get in it. It's crazy. Get in there. Look. You can see me through this. Look. <laughs> Welcome to episode two, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Tonight. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of family. All my family's in Sweden. My whole family's in Sweden. I don't got 
I don't really got any family in America, so when I come out here, I try to like spend as much time with them as possible because I'm not here a lot. So we going to my grand, my grandma, and my grandpa's house right now, just to say what's up real quick. Hello. Det gick ju ganska bra igår. Nej. Mm. Oj, oj, oj. Uh, do, this is like Swedish uh, coffee, like how we do it. Och kaffe, yes. Ja. Ja, tack. Ja, tack. It was a good experience. Ja. Yeah. Like I got learned a lot, but... I wish I played like better in the, that first. The first time I came in, yeah. I wish I played better. The second time I came in, I played pretty good though. Han ska åka hem i morgon. Mm. Ja, men han har också sånt. Jag känner att han är extra. Vi är leaving tomorrow. Yes, early mm. morning. Early? Not that early. The plane leaves at 12. <laughs> now that's not early. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like on a TV channel? Uh -huh. Yes. Oh no. Yes, of course. What did you think? <laughs> like, like a big I have told, I have told every, every neighbor. You have not said. Nej. De så till att vi tar bilder över natten. Och så till honom förra gången. Han vill inte filma här. Nej, okej. Vi måste åka ganska snart. Hej då. Hej då. Vi ses kanske snart igen. Ja. Hopefully this summer. Cool. I'll come yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Nice. See you again. Yeah. Nice to see you guys. Welcome. In your room. All the pictures of me. <laughs> oh yeah. I had a flat top. And then I had another hat on. And then today also. I had bad cuts. <laughs> I had a flat top with no lineup. No fade. No nothing. That's crazy. Why would you guys even let me do that? It's the whole family. We have some. See him. There. That's Justin. No, uh, Elliot, Elliot, of course. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> oh, shoot. Look. She got the. <laughs> we don't even got a ball. I don't need it. Yeah, I used to, I used to play out here a lot with my brother and like my cousins and stuff. And yeah, it's a low rim. I used to be punting it. Can I dunk a balloon? Hey! Oh, I'm loud. I'm tripping. I'm too loud. Now we about to leave. We about to go to the gym real quick and like meet some of my like fans out here. Meet some kids that. It's like a meet and greet type of thing. Just like play some one-on-one -on -one with them. Get some buckets. And just like inspire some kids. Cause that's, that's really why I'm out here for real. Just to like, it sounds corny, but like just to like inspire like the kids. Like basketball really not a big sport in Sweden. I'm just trying to make it a bigger sport. And yeah, I definitely like gotta get back to them. Cause all like the love and support they be showing me at the games and stuff. They be like chanting my name and stuff. And when I got subbed in the first time, like they was just showing me crazy love. So I got to show that back to them. And just go out there and just meet a couple of my fans. A lot of people like be asking me, can I speak Swedish? Like, yeah, I can speak a little bit. I understand. Yo, mama, slow down. Ask they, a lot of my viewers be asking me if I can speak Swedish. Yeah. Can I? Can do that. Yeah. Yeah. I can speak a little Swedish. Yeah. Bara lite. And you understand all Swedish. I understand all. But I don't speak that well. You don't speak that well, I'm I'm a little. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm all right. But I don't like. He's really good. Everybody in Sweden can speak English, so there's no really point of like speaking Swedish if I'm not that good at it. So. 
I just speak English to everybody. They speak Swedish to him, and he answers in English. You like my balloon? Where is it? That's free commercial for Max. Sponsor me. I'm not doing that. I'm not holding this on the video for free. Bro. I'm not doing that for free. Is this the bus? Huh? I came to the store. We went for that. Nazi part two was in Sweden. <laughs> Look at oh nah, that's a tough. That's Sweden right there. Uh, but I don't know how to enter it. But uh, because uh, I played here many many years ago. How many posts you can do? I'm gonna match it. Oh, wide. One. No. <laughs> you could do one? Too cold. <laughs> he did one. They got the posters and everything. It's really crazy though, for real, because like, that's crazy to me. Yeah, like a poster, meet and greet, like, people want to meet me? Alright. Is it it's still, it's recording right now? Yep. Mm this is the first time Kai is in the episode, like, right now. And my mother is filming right now. Shots by Michelle. Like, you have to guard me. And we're just acting like we're playing. And I'm gonna go like this. Are you, you hezzy? I'm a hezzy, the hezzy creator. She's standing up. She, she getting all the angles. Put the camera on him, mama. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, fuck it. You gotta put that in there too. He was, he was about to smoke that layup. What the? <laughs> you did not get that. Nah. It's a kid's ball. You still got an air ball from two feet away from the rim. All right, but just put it in like. Oh, shit. Are you hezzy? All right. Hey, Elia, try the new bar. All right, it's a new flavor. I dropped it. All right, come on. Nah, Are you going to do it? You took mad Ah, uh, Yeah, I did do a hezzy. I did do a hezzy. But I got to wait for her to walk. Oh, all right. All right, all right. Okay, I'm going to go. Hezzy. Oh, are you hezzy? Hey, Elliot, want to try the new bar? Yeah, of course. It's a new flavor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I should see her right now. You should see her right now. I mean, I need to tell them what we're doing first. Me and Kai are about to film this little TikTok thing. We're about to play horse. And y'all already know who's about to win. Come on now. Let's go. All right. All right. You ready? All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He smoked it. Oh, all right. I'll be forgetting Kai actually nice. All right. What? All right. A lot. And and. All right. No, oh my God. Yeah, I'll do it for the last one. He got N-O-C-C. -C. He needs one more letter. All right, bet. <laughs> I don't know, I guess. Hey! Uh, and did you play any other sports? Yeah, I used to play like baseball, soccer, but I dropped all of them when I started playing basketball because I really fell in love with basketball. So, like, if you were given tickets to any game, any sport, which game would it be? Like, where would you like totally like to see? 
My favorite NBA player is Darius Garland, so probably like a Cleveland Cavaliers game. Yeah. All right. How come Darius Garland is your favorite player? Because he, he kind of like reminds me of myself. Like he's like a shorter guard, and he's, he's really talented. So, yeah. Awkward. Actually, we've got a question on our Instagram account. Like, is that, if you listen to music, do you have any favorite artists or band or whatever? Yeah, I listen to a lot of music. I like... I like Lil Durk. He's probably one of my favorite artists. All right, all right. Anyone listen to him? They don't know. They don't know who this guy is. Oh, we got a couple of them. We had a question. Are you coming back for the uh, European qualifying game after summer? Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure yet. We don't. We haven't really planned ahead of that. Me and my mom. So I don't know yet if I'm coming back out here this summer or. Yeah, I don't know yet. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to. Yeah, definitely. So, how many here would like to go to college, play college? Um, just work hard because er if everybody wants to go to college, like everybody in the world wants to play on TV, national TV. So you got to separate yourself from everybody else, and you just got to work hard. Do you feel like going here, playing national team against adults, that gives you an edge uh, in, when you go back to the States? Yeah, definitely, because uh, no other, I don't know another player that plays for, well, I, I know a couple, but I don't know a lot of players that have the opportunity to come out here and play for another country against other professional grown men. So I think I'm learning a different side of basketball, and I'm get, getting experiences that other people back home don't get. So I think it will definitely separate me from them when I get back home. You got to be in it. No. Yes. No. Okay, okay. She said no. <laughs> I fried you already. We can play king of the court. I'll give all y'all a bucket right now. You're not scoring on me. What do I get? Y'all not, nobody's scoring on me, bro. Ice cream is crazy. Ice cream? You'll get a follow back if you score on me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, s Oh, yeah. Yo! Oh. Oh, oh. Nah. Good job. He got to be on my team, though, right here. He got to be on my team. He's one. Yeah. Elio runs. Elio Swedish runs. Oh, come down the pin screen. Cross. Oh, why you hezzy? Why you hezzy? Why you hezzy? The pass. Oh! Hey, we out, we out, we out. Hey. Good pass. Oh. That's game. Six on six is crazy. <laughs> nah. Oh, he laid his ass. That's two. Hey, we out. We out. We out. Oh, you gotta get that up. Gang, you gotta get that up. Gang. Gang, you gotta get that up. <laughs> game time.
Get him, Meow. I'm not worried. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna get him out. Alright. He's out of there. Who's my next target? Hmm. Alright, wait, wait, wait. Nah, I'm behind you. Yeah. Y'all not safe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So I got, I appreciate all you, all you guys for coming out. Um, I'm going to meet all y'all in a second, but I want to give like an MVP prize to Alva because she, she gave me like three buckets and she got me out in knockout. So that's for you. Yeah. Yeah. I need a, oh yeah, I got this. You want me to sign your shirt? All right, I got you, bro. It's gonna be a minute, I'm gonna be here for a minute. Uh, if I sign like a shoe or something, I'll hold it up. What's up, bro? What's your name? Elliot. Elliot? Your name is Elliot too? What's up, Elliot? It's Elliot right here. Mini Elliot, that's crazy. Picture two, I got you. Both of them? Sure. Both of them? Let me show them. This is the EYBL KDs right here. That's tough. Like, you want me to sign it like big or like? Yes, big. Big? Yes. Like the whole thing? Yes. All right. There you go. Of course, of course. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. All right, where? Uh, like uh, right, right here. On the black, on the red? Yeah. Damn. All right. Damn. Don't mess it up. I'm. All right, all right, all right. I'm. I'm gonna try to make it as nice as I can. Yes, sir. All right. Of course, bro. I got it. What's up? Oh shit. Where? Where do you want it, bro? Camera. That's gonna be on the YouTube video. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> so right here, this one. I right, bet. That's tough. Y'all gonna definitely be on the YouTube video. I'm Elliot Cadeau. Yes, sir. Yes. And I got to play for some of the best coaches out here in Sweden. So it was a great opportunity, and I learned a lot, and I gained a lot from this experience. And how was it to play here with the young players? It was great. Um, coming out here and meeting a bunch of my fans and meeting a bunch of people that just look up to me. Um, there was a lot of talented kids out here like playing with me. i really seen that. And it was just great to come out here and just talk to them and meet them. I talked from yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> You're gonna die? Chill. <laughs> Give her the phone. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. And then y'all can just DM me. DM me and be like, follow, like, follow me. Hey, yo. What's up, bro? What's up? It's good. All right, bro. I ain't going outside today. They might tell you no filming in the airport. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I saw, I saw that he was gonna... It's weird. I'm done taking shit like that. I'm doing what, bro? <laughs> uh, we, we just landed in Stockholm, and it was like a quick flight. It was like an hour. We came from Malmö, and now I gotta go, like, do this, like, talk show interview type of thing. It's gonna be, like, on live TV. There's gonna be a lot of people watching. There's gonna be a lot of people at the talk show, so it'll be good. And then like there was a it was packed out. Cause it was a home game for them. Yeah, that was crazy. And it was crazy. It was a, there were twelve of us. There was twelve Swedish fans. Twelve Swedish fans. And then yeah. the Holland team game came the Holland team, right? Came to Yeah, it was packed out. But that game was so lit. That wasn't the best yeah. game I had though. The best game was the championship. No, no, that wasn't it, yeah. That was the, when you got the gold ball. That was the championship. Yeah. He took. I had like 36 on like 19 shots. I was. I could not miss a shot. I don't know what was wrong with me. I don't know, bro. Those are not American trees. Somebody sent you this, do you know what it is? Get a hot dog right here. Yeah, What's up? Yeah. Don't put this on the dock though. Why not? I'm about to get a Frank. Huh? Ask him. I need two of them. I need two. And Kai need one. You need to try one of them. Nah, you guys can't put this like that. No, you don't. You don't have to. That means if a car sees a guy walking like across the street, they have to stop for him. Like no matter what. We're in like an ancient, ancient town. Damn. You gotta stop. God, too. This chocolate is OD. I'm about to get it right now, too. The eater, why don't you stop? So much you got, too. Nah. They call me the hot dog man. Oh, wow. love you. This is nice. Like this is where you guys like are. Yeah. So this is the headquarters. The headquarters. Yeah. Who's that? Yeah. Like my dad. <laughs> like a big version of my dad. Imagine living here. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really in the trenches right now. Yeah, I'm in the trenches for real. Damn. It's scary. So do we have a store? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, how, where, you want to go to the store that was over here and get something to eat? What store? It was like a grocery store over here. A grocery store? I'm hungry, boy. Uh, kebab, no. Kebab yeah, pizza. You guys come ke kebab pizza? Kebab pizza, kebab pizza. Also, we have, we have a menu. You can enjoy your meal. Thank you. You too. That guy's like 6'4". The guy we just passed. Tuck? 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 T
Yeah. I'm him. I ain't them. Fresh as fuck up about Trump. They gonna walk in and be like, now introduce me. Oh, you could not be like, oh shit. I'm like, slap. I can't even throw nothing up because I don't know what to throw up. But like, imagine I did that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, y'all can come in. Hey, hey. People are just curious. They yep. don't know you. And, yeah. you know, the last time an American chose to compete for Sweden, stuff went well. So they'll yeah. be excited. Uh -huh. yeah. No pressure. Yeah, <laughs> whole thing. Ah, the entire one. Yeah. Okay, good. Then we'll, the whole thing. we'll talk about yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Can you come right here? Yeah. Hey, what's up? Can you come up and go? Can you bust the fall here so we can put it on? No, just eat it. Why are you still eating it? You see, I don't know what to do. Bro, put that shit out, bro. Don't eat that shit. It's the most nastiest candy of that. Behind the scenes, I'm about to go out there. I'm filming Kai. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. I got my own, like, green room, or whatever they call it. I'm about to, like, go change right now. They said they said I can't wear any, like, brands. Like, this Nike sign right here on my tech bench. They got to, like, cover it up. Because, like, on the TV show, you're not allowed to, like, promote any, like, brands or nothing. Why are you staring at me? <laughs> but yeah, it's hard. Like, I got my own room in here. They gave me like snacks. I got the schedule. I'm about to go up there in like 30 minutes, probably. I'm I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie, cause I never done nothing like that. But yeah, it'll be a good experience, I guess. I got my own bathroom too, and I got these flowers. So like. We give these to my mother. They probably won't, e won't even let you take the whole vase. You think they would? Yeah, so. I'll take one. Take uh, one flower. Uh, yeah. I'm going to change my name to Devon. My name is Devon Cadeau. Oh, Devon? Yeah. My name is Devon Cadeau. Um, um, yeah. I'm yeah at it. I'm up next, so I'm just about to watch, like, see what kind of questions they ask me. Anti-shine sending others to go in the studio. All right, thank you. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about that. Like, own it. Yes. I did before. I used to model. You did that before? That's crazy. People on TV be putting makeup on before they go out. So you know, TV not like real life. Like, not real life. It was like it's like light though. Like, I don't got no like makeup on. She just like cover my like acne a little bit. Good though. Is it good, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we will uh, edit it after, uh -oh. and if you say something like boring or, or yeah. if you repeat yourself or anything, yeah. then we take it away. Okay. Men mamman är svensk och han har valt att spela för Sverige. I veckan gjorde Elliot Kadå landslagsdebut. Elliot Kadå, 18 år ung alltså. Please welcome Elliot Kadå.
eller välkommen. Du pratar ju faktiskt lite svenska. Yeah, I understand and I speak a little bit. I don't know, it's just like it's just like normal over there. The, the, they, walk with you don't even, they don't even take it off like when they go to bed, like if they're in the public house. <laughs> nah, when they go to bed, they yeah, definitely like, take it off. At night. I think no matter how good I get if I end up making the NBA, I think I'll still choose the place for Sweden over USA. Mm. Yeah. All right, tack så jättemycket. Ja, We just landed in Nort. It's like two o'clock. I got, I got to go fly right back to school in two hours, and then we just practicing for real, getting ready for Geico. So. They're definitely different because I played on the youth team and now it's the men's team, so it's a lot older people, a lot better people. So Melvin was one of the guards on the team this time, and he was really good. Like he taught me a lot of stuff. He took me under his wing. He answered all my questions, and he was really killing. Like he really showed me the level I need to be at next time I go out there. So Melvin was really good. Barrow was really good. Another one of the guards, and yeah, they just set the bar high for me. How do you feel like you did for your first game? Um, I feel like I played pretty well. Um, it's kind of a new situation for me, and I don't think I played as much as I should have, but when I went out there, I was just confident in myself. <laughs> yeah, second game, there was a stretch where they kept calling travels on me because I'm used to the American rule, like the way like you pivot. Like, like you can do that in America, so I'm doing it because it's like my instincts. And they're calling travels on me, so I think they call like two travels in a row. But other than that, I think I played pretty solid, um, especially defensively. Like, and I was just trying to help us win. I didn't play as much as I wanted to, but yeah, I think I did pretty well. Um, I think next time I go out there, it's gonna be totally different. Um, I'm used to it now. I'm used to the coaches. I'm used to my teammates. So I think the next time I go out there, I'm gonna really kill. And this time, I didn't really get a chance to really do what I could do, but I think next time I'll be more comfortable and I'll, I'll do better. Like every time I go out to Sweden is great because I, I see my family and I don't get to see my family too often because they live so far. So going out there aside from basketball is always like really fun and really great just to see my cousins, my grandparents, my aunts and uncles and just to spend time with them. There's more support out there, especially for me. Um, it's more like genuine support. Everybody just wants to see you win. Nobody wants to see you be bad. So when I go out there, I really feel that, and it's great. I appreciate y'all for tuning in to episode three, um, seeing another perspective on my life out in Sweden. Can't wait to go back out there. And yeah, just run this shit up if you want to see my college episodes. We're going to do an episode in college. Y'all going to see the UNC perspective, all of that. So yeah, just run this shit up.